Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I thought it'd be a lot of fun to do a spin on the YouTube Made Me Buy It video, and instead talk about one of my favorite larger influencers and the products that she influenced me to try out. My favorite larger influencer is Taylor, known as the Tayla here. I've been following her channel for, I think it's three years now. Um, I think it was, I found her right after her first 15 days of foundation. So I, yeah, I think that was a couple years ago. Um, and she's one of the only people on YouTube where no matter what video comes out, I watch every single one of her videos. I just love her presence. I love her videos. I just, I really, really enjoy her channel. And because I enjoy her channel and feel like I can trust her, I've tried out a lot of products that she's recommended. And I've tried out products even though we really aren't similar <laughs> at all. She is very pale, whereas I'm kind of like a light medium complexion. She used to have really oily skin and cystic acne when I first found her channel, and my skin is more combo. And while I do get acne here and there, it's nowhere near cystic. Since she's gotten off of Accutane and her skin has become a little bit more dry, I feel like I can more look at her skincare recommendations now. But for the most part, like, I'm not looking at her channel for like foundation shade matches or acne help like a lot of people are. I'm, I'm just drawn to her channel because I just really like her presence and I love the way she talks about products. And I also really, really admire how she's still, like she still has a full-time job. She freelances and she does YouTube. Like to me, that's just like really admirable and I really like it. So I have a list of 10 products that I purchased after seeing the Taylor talk about them, recommend them. And I've got most of them here in this little Sephora bag because I went through my collection to pick them out. So before we jump into the video, don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you like it. And if you want to see any more blank Made Me Buy It videos, and I hope if you have it and you'd like to, you would consider subscribing. I'm no longer going to say press the bell because even if people press the bell, for some reason, notifications aren't going out. But that being said, don't forget to follow me on Twitter because I do post on Twitter every time I go live and before every video goes. So the first product that I bought after seeing Taylor use it was from Revlon. This is the Photo Ready Pore Reducing Primer. My cap kept falling off and cracking, so I just have this right here. I do think this is a bit overpriced for the drugstore, so I never recommend buying it full price, but this is a really great pore primer that you can get at the drugstore. I would just recommend using coupons, waiting until Revlon goes on sale, but you do get a large amount of product in here. I've had this for almost a year and I'm not even halfway through it yet. So I really do enjoy this primer. It's, it's not something I would take around my entire face. I really only concentrate this right here around my nose and then a little bit on the middle of my forehead right there. There are two foundations that the Taylor tried out that I bought specifically because of her recommendation despite like our skins being, skins being different, Jesus, despite our skin types being a little bit different. And the first one is Dermacol. I had never heard about Dermacol until I saw her 15 days of foundation video on it. And I, once I saw that, I went through the journey of trying to find my shade. <laughs> it took a bit, but my closest shade match is 210. I know hers, I think, is 208 or 207, but 210 is definitely the closest for me. I bought this over a year ago, and I, I have the majority of this tube left, so... I'm not a huge fan of wearing this on its own. I feel like it's a bit too much coverage for someone who doesn't really need incredible coverage, but I love mixing this in with other foundations. Some foundations I love mixing this with were the Too Faced Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation, the CoverGirl Vitalist Healthy Elixir Foundation, which that's actually one of the first videos I ever posted to this channel, it was a video about me mixing this with that CoverGirl foundation. I actually also got a recommendation from a friend who said that she mixed this in with her moisturizer just to make a foundation. That's an awesome idea. I haven't tried it out yet, but I, I can't wait to try that out. I think that'd be really great considering just how concentrated this is. So I'm really glad I was able to find this through Taylor and I just think it's, it's really affordable and there's so many different uses for it. The next foundation that I tried is more of a recent favorite of hers. She's been talking about it a lot in 2018, and it's from CYO. This is the Long Lasting Life Proof Foundation. I have the shade 104. I think maybe I could try a lighter shade, but that being said, this isn't a great shade match for me, but it wears so well. It really does. It 
it's up there. It's not as great as the Catrice foundation that I, I fell head over heels with, but it's up there. The only, like, the only downside of this is that I kind of have to either mix it with another foundation to get a shade that matches me, or I have to use a white mixer in order for it to match me, because by itself, it's pretty dark. Again, another great affordable foundation that I wouldn't have even looked at or known about if it hadn't been for Taylor. From foundation, let's go along to concealer. So a concealer I tried based on one of her recommendations was from Flower Beauty. And what are you actually called? This is the Light Illusion Full Coverage Concealer. I'm still testing this out. It's still fairly new to my collection, but I found that I really don't like this by itself, but I do like mixing it with other concealers. And I think that's how she used it as well. She would mix it with other concealers. Though I know she does have like very tricky under eyes and my under eyes in comparison, they're they're not that bad like I have some fine lines but for the most part I don't struggle too much with concealer but I love a good affordable concealer and again this is just another product that wouldn't have really been on my radar this is a brand that really wouldn't have been on my radar without Taylor because she talked about um, the foundation she talked about the concealer she talked about a couple other products I think including like their blush pots um, but I really do want to try more from this brand and I'm really glad that she talked about the concealer Okay, the next product that she recommended and that I totally like jumped in, this was actually back when I like couldn't really afford to buy makeup. Once upon a time, I was working my butt off, paying student loans, and I had no money left at the end of every month. But I was still obsessed with makeup and I was watching YouTube, so I was obsessed with like drugstore makeup starter kits and affordable drugstore makeup and like the top 10 drugstore things you need. And she recommended this highlighting palette from Physicians Formula. This is the Shimmer Strips All-in-One Nude Palette and I loved this thing. I bought one when I actually had some money left over one month and it was an amazing highlight. These shades down on the bottom are darker and a little bit shimmery but if you like a shimmery contour or a shimmery bronzer you could also use it as such. This is a new one that I have in my backup drawer because the first one that I used I used the heck out of it and then like the packaging broke on me so then I depotted it and I kept it in my little depotting thing and then I used so much of it that it crumbled again and so I repressed it and then I kept using it until I ran out. It's a really great product. The only reason I still haven't opened it back up yet is because uh, my collection has grown <laughs> since then and as much as I love this product I have a lot of other open products that I have not used yet so I'm trying to work my way through those but this is one of the gems of the drugstore. I know Physicians Formula is a bit pricey for the drugstore especially when you're on that much of a budget but coupons, if you're at CVS using like your CVS cash, like those are lifesavers. I really think the only downside of this product is the packaging because it is fairly bulky and mine did break after opening and using it quite a few times. The next product that I tried because of Taylor is a mascara and this is from Wet n Wild. It's actually the only Wet n Wild mascara that I've tried that I've actually liked. I've tried quite a few of them. This is the Mega Length Mascara. So I know this one is mainly recommended and used for like your lower lashes. I'm not a huge fan of putting mascara on my lower lashes just because my eyes are just so small and hooded that I'm afraid of it smudging, but when I did put this on the lower lash line, it didn't smudge at all. But I do like layering this on my upper lashes just because I really like the like really skinny brush on here. It just grabs and like fans out all my lashes and then sets the perfect stage for when I go in with another mascara. But I really do enjoy this mascara and again, I wouldn't have even like thought about it because I had such bad experiences with other wet and wild mascaras unless Taylor mentioned it. Another product that Taylor got me to try out was from Wet n Wild. It's from their Mega Last Liquid Catsuit line and it was a color that I hadn't reached for yet even though I love some of their colors. If you've seen my channel you know how much I love Rebel Rose and how much I really recommend that shade but this is one that I didn't actually like pick up until I saw Taylor wear it and try it out and that's the shade Nudie Patootie. Honestly, I saw this in store and I thought it was going to be too dark for me, but then I tried it on and it was almost a little too light for me, but it is a really good, like if you need a nude nude, this has you. I actually really like mixing this too. I did mix this once with Rebel Rose and I got a really nice, just like subtle mauve kind of color. 
I liked it. This is one of the best shades in their entire uh, Liquid Catsuit lipstick line. There are three shades that I really like, Rebel Rose, Nudie Patootie, and then Missy and Fierce, which is their like bright red shade. Another more recent product that I tried on her recommendation and fell in love with is the Catrice Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. Fixing Spray, can I say that again? The Catrice Cosmetics Prime and Fine Dewy Glow Fixing Spray. I wanted to try this out like right when she recommended it, but like it was sold out everywhere and I couldn't find it in any of my drugstores. When it finally came back in stock on Ulta, I jumped on and I picked it up and mine's more than halfway gone. I really do enjoy this spray. I picked up their normal fixing spray as well. Don't like it as much, but it's still a decent spray. I just really like this dewy one. And if you've seen my channel, you know I like to apply kind of like a melding spray and then a prolonging spray. For this one, I'll throw this one on just to kind of meld everything together and give me a bit of a glow. And then I'll put on my Scandinavia setting spray just to actually prolong my makeup wear. The one product that I don't have in my collection anymore because I go through them fairly fast was an eyeliner. And this was the Physicians Formula Eye Booster in Ultra Black. This was a lifesaver back when everyone on YouTube was touting these like really expensive liners and for someone who's obsessed with a cat eye like the first way I actually got into makeup was by like doing eyeliner. I used to just wear eyeliner and nothing else. So back when everyone was ex like recommending like the Kat Von D one and like all the really expensive ones, Taylor was like saying her holy grail was this um, Physicians Formula one. So I went out and I tried it and it is an amazing eyeliner. I don't have it because I've gone through at least two or three of them, but I kind of wanted, I was in a rut and I kept using the same thing over and over again and I wanted to test out some other things. So recently I've been testing out some from Milani, some from NYX, so I didn't repurchase that one, but it is a great eyeliner and I would highly recommend anyone pick it up. I would recommend either getting the brown shade or the ultra black shade because the black shade itself does look a little like it's like a gray kind of color one bonus product that has nothing to do with really makeup or beauty that i bought because i was really interested and she introduced me to it was actually a bag so let me give just a little bit of background on this earlier this year in around may after applying for jobs for quite some time i got one of like the best job offers that i've ever really had the opportunity to accept and after accepting the job, I accepted a longer commute. So instead of just being able to walk to work, I switched to having to take three trains right outside of New York City. So it's a very busy commute, it's a very bustling commute, and I definitely wanted a bag or something to like A, treat myself for getting this new job, and B, just a bag that would be a lot more, what I'm trying to say, a lot better for that kind of commute. And in one of her like favorites videos, Taylor talked about this Henry Bendel bag. Oh my god, it's big. So I have it right here. This is like the like convertible. I'll throw a picture up of the bag on the website right here. It is pricey because it is designer. But I've used this bag every single day since I've gotten it. This bag is a decent size, it's huge, and what I really like about it is you have all of these really secure zippers right here. There's a pocket right here in the front that I really don't use unless I'm home, just because that's the only part of the bag that's not secure. Um, but like the bag zips on the top, there is a pocket. I'm not gonna show you the inside because my bag is actually kind of gross right now. But it is a very secure bag, and my favorite part is that it's a convertible backpack. So, on the back, you see that they have this little ring right here, and you've got your little strap. So this is the strap that the bag actually came with. You can use other straps, but this is for convenience, I just use the one that it came with. So what you do is you cl clip the little thingies down here. If I can do it with one hand, can I? So you clip that there and then where the strap actually comes apart in the middle, you hook this through the D-ring. So you get your backpack straps right there. This is the best commuting bag ever. And it also is just a really good purse. It's a good size. I got the large bag. They do have a smaller bag, but with the amount of like books and junk that I carry around, I wanted the bigger bag. This isn't the original bag that I got because when I first bought it, I did get this monogrammed and it did have map on it. If you don't know, my channel is called Map Beauty because my initials are M-A-P, map. 
So I did get it monogrammed, but the handles right here started to fray and I was hoping just to get the handles replaced. So we have a fancy mall nearby and they have a Henry Bendel store in there. So I went in one day just asking about the handles and they said, oh no, that's like a defect in that one batch. We're just gonna give you a new bag. And I was like, oh, okay, cool, I'll take it. So they replaced the whole bag, but um, I haven't been able to go into the store whenever the monogrammer has actually been there to get it remonogrammed. But I'm not gonna complain about that because that's the tiniest thing. They gave me a completely new bag just because my handle frayed a little bit. So I really love this bag. The only downside is that I heard Henry Bendel is like going out of business next year. So I, d yeah. But I really do like this bag. I love the convertible aspect of it. Whenever I'm commuting to work, because I have a big backpack, I have to carry my work laptop with me at all times. So I have a big backpack that I have to carry. So whenever I'm commuting to work, I will make this into a purse and just do a crossbody and then have my backpack on my actual back. If I'm out and about and I'm just using this like as my purse, I'll make it into a backpack because it's just so much more comfortable to wear it that way. And if at any point I just want to switch it up, I can just, just do the straps and I have a purse again. This is also really great if you're in like city areas or urban areas because like everything zips, it's crossbody, it's secure. I love this bag. It was a really nice like present from myself to myself for my new job. It's useful because I use it every day for the commute that I now have and I never would have even known about it if Taylor hadn't mentioned it in like one of her little like favorites videos. So those were some products that I bought because of Taylor's recommendation. Like I said, I just, I really enjoy her channel and like the way she comes across, she comes across as very trustworthy, as very honest. So I really do trust every review that she comes out with. And I found some like great Holy Grail products from her recommendations. Thank you so much for watching. Hope if you liked it, you'll give it a thumbs up and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Bye.